Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Gifton here. Uh, we're looking at a 2012 F-150 today. So the problem here is that the map sensors in your air system, um, as air passes by and they get dirtier and dirtier, um, that can cause your air mixture to be a little weird. So you start to see a decrease in mileage. Uh, next cut, we'll be back uh, and we'll be looking at the, um, the airflow sensor locations. All right, so first sensor location is right here on top of the box. Um, I'm going to take the air box apart and inspect the air filter while I'm at it. So take the air box apart. Um, you got to loosen this up, take the air box off. Um, and I'll show you what the sensors look like when I get them all off. But there's the first location. It's on the driver's side of the truck, uh, top of the air box. Second uh, sensor location is a little bit weird. Um, it's behind the radiator, kind of behind the fuse box below it, um, right here. It's a T20 Torx bit, and there's two, two screws to hold it in and it just kind of pulls out. You need to kind of wiggle it out a little bit. Now the third sensor location is underneath this. So I'm gonna get this off and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now that that covers off, um, I'll kind of do a fly in here and show you. That is the final one. Okay, so we're gonna to go to this number two one because it's the easiest one to show you. I'm not gonna show you all three uh, just because you already know where they are. There's one, there's two, and there's three right there. Um, but I'll show you how to clean this one and how to get it out kind of, and they're all kind of similar. Um, this is the only one with T20 torque screws on it. Uh, the other one I think has a, it looks like about a seven or an eight millimeter, uh, that one back there. So once you get the screws out, um, you kind of have to wiggle a little bit and then just pull straight out. And as you can see, it's kind of this goofy little, there's that O-ring in there. That's what keeps obviously keeps stuff from getting in. but. If you look at them closely, you can see some dirt and things on them. Um, you know, it's hard to show you that in a video, but I'll show you how to clean it here in a second. So what I've done here is I've created a kind of a little pocket of, uh, of shop towels. There's like three shop towels here. And uh, I'm going to hold this up and just spray it down until it's nice and wet. The stuff I'm using is just CRC. It's, I, found, I got this at Walmart. It's a little can of it. Um, you can get it at any auto parts store. So as you can see here, it's... Um, kind of dripping still. And a lot of people just let these air dry and they say, you know, don't use any pressure or anything like that. Um, I might use like 10, 10 PSI, like five PSI air just to blow across it to help it dry faster and maybe to whisk away a little particulate or something like that. But you can let it air dry. You can do one and let it dry and do the other one. Just try not to let this, uh, let this sensor or this area kind of contact anything on the engine, particularly anything dusty or dirty. I know I skipped ahead a little bit, but I took this one out to show you what a dirty one looks like. Um, and this is really dirty. Um, so this could definitely be impacting mileage. That's supposed to be, as far as I know, white in color. Um, and it is not, it is black in color, the whole thing. So I'm gonna clean this off real good. There's a good view of it. And get all this crud off of here. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're back now with this uh, kind of partially cleaned. I'll bring you back over into the the light here, but you can see that some of the colors coming out, some of that black is coming off. Okay, so we're back under the light here. This is still wet, uh, as you can tell, but you can see, look at how bright white that is, and just look at the difference, you know. Uh, there's still some blackness on this. Uh, this is a good time to warn you, don't put a Q-tip in there or anything. Uh, don't, try not to touch that sensor with anything, especially anything that can leave particles behind. You can, I wiped the outside of this with a shop towel, and I'll show you all the crap that came off of there and that was just around the outside of it um, so in the air box filter there's a sensor on the inside that you don't need to take out unless you really feel spry uh, you can just spray it while it's in there so you would be all right all right guys i'm going to wrap it up there um, really it's just taking the taking the three apart again summary uh, one here you take off the air box and it's inside of there one on the back of the engine which i currently have out it's right there uh, behind these you gotta kind of move them. there it is um, i took that one out and that one was really dirty, so check yours if that one's really dirty. Uh, then this one was pretty clean for me too. Uh, the airbox one was really clean for me too. This one's just two T20 uh, Torx bits. That is a seven millimeter, by the way, uh, just for future reference. And in my opinion, I think you should unplug your battery while you're doing this whole thing and let the computer relearn. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, you can feel free to subscribe or like the video. I just really put it out there for info because I was searching on YouTube and didn't find a great video to do it. So thanks for watching. Bye.